the hardest part of building value in a business isn't the starting of it. There's plenty of businesses that were started. It isn't in scrapping to build it. It's in optimizing and expanding it because the only way you can optimize and expand is by bringing people into the equation. So what is the process of creating massive value for you and in some case generational net worth? It's to start something, build it, optimize it, and once you understand the optimization, once you know where to create value, you expand it. So many business owners start a business and then they sit in build stage for the rest of their life. But the business caps relative to their ability to build it. Just acknowledge, just move to acceptance right now and say, okay, here's the deal. If I want to create massive value, if I'm going to love my life, I want to have freedom, I want to have time with my family, my friends, I want to be able to enjoy things, do not trap yourself in start and build. Trap yourself in transformation where you can literally go anywhere, do anything, be with whoever you want because you're always multiplying what you've already built by creating a team that's taking care of the things behind you that you've incentivized in the big picture to win with you. When I sold my business, 42% of the value of my business I gave to my customers and every one of my employees. I had 188 employees when I sold. $45 million I gave then another 15 million so I could exit running that business and leave my team there and they're still running it and I gave them that money so I could go create a new business that added another 250 million of value to my net worth in three years. Why? Because I know how to find, attract, align, develop, and retain great people because what I learned early on in business is if I've got to be the one showing up and doing everything, I'm going to stay small. Now, the hardest part of building value in a business isn't the starting of it. There's plenty of businesses that were started. It isn't in scrapping to build it, it's in optimizing and expanding it because the only way you can optimize and expand is by bringing people into the equation. Then when you build a massive team and they're in the equation, you can transform the business because you have more brains, more eyes, more mouths, more hands, more ears, more intellect, more wisdom helping you solve problems so you could go through rapid scaling. When your business is multiplying consistently over a long period of time, other people will come along and wanna buy that. And what they'll do is they will pay a future value for your business to solve their problems today. Now, imagine, in my case, getting almost 80 years worth of earnings so that I could help a billion dollar company in three years go to four and a half billion. That's how you want to position yourself. Solve other people's bigger problems. And while I was doing that, by the way, over the 15, 14, 15 years of building that company, I generated $50 million of profits which allowed me to accumulate about $35 million of passive net worth in my real estate portfolio. I just put a little money away every single year buying other things, warehouses, mini storages, a couple of homes here or there, and I accumulated a net worth that when I sold, I was already worth $30, $35 million. Now, I'm going to promise you there's a big difference between being worth $35 million and $100. And I can even promise you more by learning from the goat himself, the guy that I've been able to optimize my own wisdom, my own experience around learning how to do things bigger, better, faster, multiplying everything that I had built at a rate beyond what I even thought was possible, which is why you always want to surround yourself with bigger thinkers, bigger doers who are actually thinking, doing, and creating in cycles that you can get behind. 
Collaboration is much more valuable than being out there trying to figure it out all by yourself. Because in three years, I've taken my net worth from 80, 90 million dollars to 350 million dollars. You've got to find a way to get into the jet stream. But if you're stuck doing everything by yourself, you will never find your way into the jet stream.